I'm always looking for ways to make 3D prints just a little bit more functional, a little bit more useful, a little bit more fun. Uh, today we're looking at a product that does just that. It's called Cyberbrick. It's from Maker World. Let's go ahead over there and see uh, how do we get this uh, product. So here I am on bamboolab.com. There you can click on Maker Supply. And when you do that, you can go and see Cyberbrick on the home page there. Drive into that, you see the Cyberbrick hardware kit. And then there's two options. You have the Cyberbrick Ultimate Hardware Kit or the Cyberbrick Beginner Hardware Kit. Today we're going to be unboxing the Cyberbrick Beginner Hardware Kit that has all these components in it. So here is the kit itself. It comes in a small box. Uh, let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. So here we are, we look like we have some bamboo stickers, decals, bamboo lab, stickers and decals. We have some instruction manuals. This probably has maybe the parts lists on it, yep. Have a set of four tires. Yes. We have a servo. Now the key thing here is that there are different servos that come with this piece. This is a nine gram servo motor with clutch protection. And we'll dive into the more of these features as we start putting some parts together with this. This is a plastic differential gear set. So you can basically take a DC motor and make it maybe a little bit more useful, a little bit slower uh, and a little bit more torquey. looks like here we have a, a single axis potentiometer for something like a joystick. Here is another servo. This servo you'll notice is a 360 degree nine gram servo with clutch. So 360 means that it's continuous rotation. It'll go around and around as opposed to the servo over here. That's just going to go a certain direction, a certain amount. Here we have another potentiometer. This is a dual axis potentiometer. Uh, look like a rocker switch. Yep, it's a rocker switch that goes back and forth. Uh, looks like a power switch with a power cord. Here is either a transmitter or a receiver component. The cool thing here is it looks like it has some kind of uh, removable chip on the top. That's very cool. Okay, I'll put that back in the anti-static bag to protect it. Here we have, looks like some LEDs, some very small LEDs. And a bag of screws. Uh, one thing I've noticed about the Maker Lab projects, they all tend to use or try to use the same size screw in 2.5, so you don't have to have a, a whole lot of different screws. Springs, springs are so interesting. I've had so many projects that I've just needed springs for. Uh, you wouldn't think that they would be a common piece of hardware that you would want, but uh, they come with a couple sets of springs. You can do tic-tac shooters and uh, latches and all sorts of things with springs. That uh, looks like some high strength magnets, very small, maybe uh, two millimeter or so. Another dual axis potentiometer, good for a joystick. Uh, just a single push button with the cable to go with it. Looks like a um, joiner hub of some sort, maybe for combining some of those LED lights together in a single strip. Two DC motors. Now it's cool here is they've already soldered on the wires. So there's no soldering with this kit that I'm aware of. 
Here's another reduction gear set. Great for reducing a DC motor down to a more manageable speed. Uh, looks like another reduction gear set. Same thing. And some more LEDs. Those with those LEDs. Looks like, again, a transmitter or receiver unit. I suspect this is some type of battery charger. This is some grease. And here we have a battery compartment. Looks like three AAA batteries for that. This is some thin nylon rope. And then last but not least, here we have a battery. Lithium ion, 7.4 volts. So there you have it. Quite a kit for a beginner kit that's going to let you do a lot of projects. Really looking forward to getting into these projects. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel to get updates on what we do with this kit and other projects that we have in the works. It'll help me expand the channel to others so that they can see how approachable this technology can be and level up their skills for whatever projects they have as well. Thank you and God bless.